Hey there, turn on your speakers. Do you have finals week coming up? Projects due? Homeworks are piling up? Are you freaking out that you're getting boxed in with deadlines? Here's an idea get help. Think Geek Exams. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. This is the third question in the statics uh, vectors homework. Uh, here we have a 3D graph with X, Y, and Z over here. And there's a force going uh, somewhere slightly obliquely, F, and it has a magnitude of 143 pounds, and it's going from the origin O. And th they drew a box around that showing the coordinates of F. Now, uh, in this case, the, the direction is not given with a vector form uh, or a unit vector form. It is actually given with angles alpha and beta there, respectively, the angle of F from the X, X uh, 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 axis and the Y axis. And they're both 120 degrees. Now, uh, given this information, we have to find what is the angle between F and Z axis, and then we have to ex express the force in Cartesian vector format. So, right off the bat, uh, uh, we know that uh, the, uh, the, the cosine of alpha is basically, uh, so the unit vector for, for F, if we if you write the unit vector like this, it would be cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. So that would mean that uh, this forms the unit vector. So basically what would happen is we would have a uh, uh, Pythagorean relationship between alpha, beta, and gamma the, uh, in this way that cosine alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared equals to 1. And we don't know gamma, we know alpha and beta. So right off the bat we can find out what, uh, what, uh, what gamma is using MATLAB. So let's write, write down what beta is. Beta is 120 degrees times pi divided by 180. And I'm not going to print that out. Uh, and gamma is the same thing. Sorry, alpha is the same thing. So uh, we type that out. And uh, we can find out what the cosine of these, uh, that, uh, of these angles are. Cos alpha equals to cosine of alpha and that value, I'm just printing that out uh, and cos beta equals to cosine beta and uh, so cos gamma is going to be square root of over 1 minus cos alpha squared minus cos beta squared. And that should give me the cosine gamma. And that is 0.707 and so we can find what gamma is. Gamma in radians, I'll, I'll say it, gamma radians equals to a cosine of cosine gamma. And that is 0.7. So gamma in degrees equals to uh, cosine gamma, yeah, 
close on gamma is uh, gamma rad times 180 divided by pi and that is 45 degrees so the answer for the first question is gamma is 45 degrees from from z axis so that looks about right this angle looks like it's going to be 40 so this is 120 degrees this is 120 degrees and this is going to be 45 degrees okay next question is uh, what is the what is the uh, unit uh, vector for the force no 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 uh, what is the force actually so the force is going to be f 143 times the unit vector and we have already already have decided that cosine alpha cosine beta and cosine gamma form the components for the unit unit vector so let's call it f unit f in capital unit equals to cosine alpha cosine beta and do we have cosine gamma cosine gamma so that forms our f unit and that that is the unit vector right there and um, f equals to 143 times f unit and that's the final answer so this this number is in pounds so f equals to minus 71.5 I minus seventy one point five J plus hundred and one point one one six three K the whole thing in pounds. So these are the two answers to this question. Think Geek Exams. Our agents have masters of engineering degrees from MIT, Stanford, Georgia Tech, Caltech. We give you solutions to mathematics, physics, computing, and engineering. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.